My name is Briston Trapp. I teach an aerospace machining and fabrication class at the Pierce County Skill Center. The Pierce County Skill Center is a technical high school that serves a variety of high schools in the Pierce County area. My aerospace and machining fabrication class is an introduction for a lot of students to the processes and procedures with metalworking related to aerospace practices and also just manufacturing in general. I decided to introduce water jet cutting technology as a teaching platform because it was basically the last missing piece as far as my curriculum where I already have CNC mills, routers, a CO2 laser, CNC plasma, and the water jet was kind of the missing link that allows us to process materials in a different way and also have a much higher level of accuracy and detail that we can't get with our other machines. Uh, it's one of my favorite machines in the shop. Personally, I like the water jet because it's smaller things, more detailed, more fine tooth uh, machining, if you will. It's uh, a lot less rough than the plasma cutter. So personally, I'd choose the water jet over the plasma cutter. Some of my favorite things about the Protomax is the ease of use. It's definitely one of the most stress-free machines that I have in my shop. Figuring out how to program a cutting path, that was something that was quick to pick up. And once I've figured it out, it was pretty repeatable. It's easy to just take it to the computer at the water jet and then just execute it on the program and just run the tool path and make sure it doesn't clog. The water jet definitely has a wow factor with the students. They've seen kind of the viral YouTube videos, but they really don't understand some of the technical sides. Using actually operating a water jet surprised me with like the uh, techniques, like using the garnet and the water doesn't actually cut it. The garnets would actually cut the material and that actually surprised me. So learning like the different things and inputs and outputs of the machine, that kind of did surprise me. There's endless possibilities due to the high level of precision and detail, the ability to cut a variety of materials, basically everything we can possibly think of in a small envelope to make kind of intricate parts and assemblies that can't be made by hand or with any other machines. So it really opens up more opportunities for more complicated projects that we just couldn't do. With the water jet, I made a rose out of metal. I've made a few ornaments for the winter workshop and I've made a coin vault. I learned a lot. I learned that you have to fix the Z. I learned how to program Fusion. I learned how to program Make. And I learned how to work the water jet. I want to make another rose with thinner material so that I was able to bend it easier and assemble them together while welding. And so also I would want to make a more detailed ornament that I can put on my wall, something with my name, something with little flowers and stuff cut out. After the students kind of have a familiarity with the water jet, they can then learn about the career opportunities that are available through water jet or CNC operation. I have former students working at aerospace companies that run much larger water jets, and the training that they learn on the Protomax is very similar, if not the same, to the larger machines. So it's just a really quick learning curve on the bigger machines, and they're actually working in the industry with the skills that they've learned on a much smaller machine. So the experience I gained with the water jet made me want to continue a career within it. It's something that I really like doing.